you found your significant other and you would like to do everything to ensure that this relationship will last forever. Or you are already in a relationship and you feel that it does not work out exactly as you imagined. A romantic relationship can be one of the most beautiful bond between two people, but sometimes it can turn to the opposite because people don't know how to treat well each other. The fact is maintaining a healthy and happy relationship requires a lot of effort. So if you feel that you would like to preserve the happiness in your current relationship, then make sure that you avoid the upcoming four toxic behaviors which can kill your relationship. Feeling insecure all the time. Insecurity is one of the worst behavior which can kill your relationship. The root cause of this emotion can be caused by many different things like you were cheated in your previous relationships and you fear that you must control everything, otherwise you will be cheated again. Very similar to this when you are insecure and you become jealous. In this case the problem arises from the fact that you aren't able to deal with your own emotions and unfortunately it will see your actual relationship too. Jealousy can be caused by a lot of things such as comparing yourself to others all the time, lack of confidence and low self-esteem or you are just simply bored and you slowly start to turn against yourself. But why does insecurity kill your relationship? Well, a happy relationship is based on trust, which is important and valuable foundation of a human connection. If this is missing, then it will generate continuous arguments between you. If you aren't able to trust in your partner, then don't expect to be happy in a relationship for 60 or 70 years or even more. Without the right level of trust, this will become an ongoing problem between you two. And unfortunately, it can be solved if you don't start to look inside yourself. So what can be a possible solution? First of all, you have to recognize that you have an issue. You have an issue with trust, you have an issue with jealousy or whatever. And you also need to understand that these kind of problems cannot be solved by your partner, because the problem arises from you and your behavior. So shortly you can't expect that your partner will be able to solve your own issues because they are part of you. Secondly, when you finally understand that you have an issue, you need to think forward and also you have to take actions. If you think that you are jealous all the time, you can convince yourself that your thoughts have no basis in reality. Or if you are lacking of confidence and you are afraid that your partner will leave you anytime, then start to take actions to boost up your confidence and do everything you can to maintain the excitement of your relationship. In the end you will realize that you are the only one who can make efforts to deal with your own insecurities and you can't blame your partner if you aren't able to change. You don't have me time. Not leaving me time in a romantic relationship is another big mistake which can kill your relationship. Love can be intoxicating, especially in the beginning. We tend to feel that we want to do everything with our significant other because we enjoy all the moment with them. Slowly you become part of each other, which sometimes will be overwhelming if you do everything together day by day, year by year. This is exactly why you need me time in a relationship which doesn't equal to a small breakup. Me time is the period when both of you can do something without each other. You can be alone with your thoughts and read an exciting book or maybe you can hang out with your long time no see friends and relatives. But how do you know if you need a me time? And if you feel that you need it, how much do you need? Well, it's up to you and also up to your partner and it is definitely something what you need to talk about. For example, if you feel that you're stuck on the same routine, then this can be a red flag. Having the same conversations, same hangouts and the same jokes. These are new in the beginning of your relationship, but as time passes, they start to wear off. Another warning sign when your bonds with your family members and friends are loosened. If you no longer have time to hang out with your valuable friends or visit your grandma because of your relationship, then me time can be perfectly utilized for these kind of occasions. Lastly, if you feel that you are not yourself anymore because your relationship completely changed your personality and your routines, then it is a necessity for you to have a me time in your relationship. All in all, having me time with your partner doesn't mean that you don't love them anymore. In fact, this is something which is needed to maintain a healthy and long relationship. Otherwise, you can get bored of each other very quickly 
and this will kill your relationship sooner or later. Poor communication habits. Personally, I strongly believe that communication plays an important role in a relationship's success. The quality of the communication can determine how close can you stay over the long run. On the other hand, it can kill your relationship if you don't learn how to utilize it properly. One of the most crucial communication mistakes that people tend to make is expecting that their partners will figure out by their own what are their needs or what bothers them. No matter how much your significant other loves you, they won't be able to read your mind. The solution is, be responsible for your own happiness. And if you are expecting something from your partner, then tell them. Another common challenge can be in a relationship is the culture of the arguing. This is the part where you can make many mistakes like labeling our partner constantly during the argument, we don't talk about the problem itself, but we get personal or another mistake when we don't want to get into the argument at all and we just leave. These kind of behaviors without any solution can be tiring, which in the end will probably kill your relationship. You have to understand that arguing is a part of a relationship and you don't have to consider it as a problem, but rather an opportunity where both of your opinions can meet each other and get a conclusion which is suitable for both of you. Improving communication in relationships take a lot of time and of course efforts, and none of the less complete honesty and self-awareness. You have to learn how you can express your emotions and thoughts to your partner in the most favorable way. But at the same time, you also have to pay attention to their words and you don't have to take everything personally. You are playing the victim all the time. Playing the victim all the time is definitely the most toxic behavior which can kill your relationship. Nobody wants to be with a crybaby who is not able to deal with their problems. And don't get me wrong, I don't say that you won't have difficult periods in your life. But complaining about everything all the time will kill your relationship sooner or later and none of the less you will be unhappy and probably get sick. And unfortunately nowadays we can complain about nearly anything. We hate our boss and our job. Why don't we have more money? Why the weather is awful? And the list can be even endless. And it can be worse when we start to play the victim in our relationship every single day. We can start to come up with excuses why our partner doesn't appreciate us, or why don't they support us despite the difficulties, or simply why don't they ask what are our problems at the moment. But let me tell you something right now if you feel this way. Maybe your partner perfectly understands your emotions, but they realize before you that they can fix your problems even if they tried. Nobody wants to be with an energy vampire and we definitely don't want to listen the same problems over and over again for weeks or even for months. So shortly it's always worth to evaluate how you behave and how you act every single day. If you continuously feel that the world is against you and no matter what you do you still have the same problems, then it might be a warning sign that you have to change your attitude. Otherwise it will kill your relationship very soon. And I know perfectly that this is not easy to see the bright side of the life every single day, but I am quite sure that this is the only way if you would like to feel yourself happy and also maintain happiness in your relationship. So these were my four toxic behaviors that I think can kill your relationship sooner or later. If you feel that some of them are already applying to you, then think forward and start to figure out how you can take actions, otherwise it will risk your relationship. And by the end of this video, if you feel that you have learned a lot from this content, please don't hesitate to show some support, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment and see you next week.